The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Over the past few months, I've started speeches thanking a lot of political figures. But I'm so glad that tonight, that the person introducing me is my best friend and my wife, Dorothy. <clears throat> and I want you to know, just a few weeks ago, we celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. When we decided to do this campaign, we decided together because we understood that it was a journey that we were all going to have to take together. And Dorothy, I could not be happier than to have you standing at my side tonight. Thank you, Doc. And to our five children who have been involved in this campaign from day one, I want to thank Dory, Jack, Mary, Sally, and Peter for all the work that they have done. Thank you. <laughs> all seven of us are so incredibly grateful to the most amazing volunteers and team lever leaders ever assembled in the history of a governor's campaign. Just as I walked up here, they gave me the final numbers. Since January, you have knocked on 2.5 million doors in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I mean, you have to pause for a second to comprehend such a large number. The truth is, that I got a lot of my energy from seeing you all working so hard. When I came to a Canvas kickoff or a phone bank, I saw so many of you. I want to tell you, it fired me up. It kept me going 100% during those 16-hour days. So thank you. We love you. And you are spectacular. I know all of you gave up time from your family because you believe this election was so important. And thank you so much. And I want all of you here who worked so hard since this campaign began to give yourselves an enormous round of applause. <laughs> and I want to thank, and I don't have words to really express, but I want to thank my extraordinary campaign staff, par particularly the field team, for what they did to break records all over Virginia. Give yourselves and the campaign a great round of applause. <laughs> and let me say this, I also want to thank the absolutely historic number of Republicans who crossed party lines to support me. You were powerful messengers for our mainstream campaign. Thank you. Most importantly, I want to thank the voters of Virginia who went out and voted for us today. From Lee County to Virginia Beach to Winchester, thank you for what you did to help us get elected the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Look, I know this has been a hard-fought race. Part of that, as you know, is the nature of politics. And part of it was that the Attorney General and I had some very big differences on some very important issues. And let me say this, I think every single person in Virginia is glad that the TV ads are now over.
And I know that passions are high, but I think it's important to recognize that while the Attorney General and I had a lot of differences, he is a principled man who has sacrificed an enormous amount of time away from his family. I thank Ken Cuccinelli for his service and dedication to the Commonwealth of Virginia. <laughs> Virginia and America have seen contentious races before, and every time we end up coming together to pursue the common good. One particularly famous Virginian confronted a very bitterly divided electorate after the presidential election in 1800. But instead of relishing his victory or governing only for his supporters, Thomas Jefferson devoted much of his first inaugural address to bridging partisan divides. He said, quote, but every difference of opinion is not a difference of principle. We have called by different names brethren of the same principle. 213 years later, the truth is, is that our differences of opinion are still often not a difference of principle or goal. Over the next four years, most Democrats and Republicans in Virginia want to make Virginia a model for pragmatic leadership that is friendly to job creation. A model for strong schools that prepare our students for the jobs of tomorrow. A model for welcoming the best and brightest scientists and innovators, no matter your race, gender, religion, or whom you love. and a model for an efficient transportation system that reduces gridlock for our families and our business. But all of this is only possible if Virginia is also the model for bipartisan cooperation. And that's a view that I share with the next Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Ralph Northam. Well, there are a lot of proud Democrats here, and aren't we proud tonight, folks? Yeah. I'm also particularly proud to welcome all the Republicans who are here tonight. Give them a great round of applause. The truth is that this election was never a choice between Democrats and Republicans. It was a choice about whether Virginia would continue the mainstream bipartisan tradition that has served us so well over the last decade. At a time when Washington was often broken, just think about what Virginia has been able to accomplish when we work together. Under Governor Mark Warner, we preserved our AAA bond rating, and he made the single largest investment in K-12 education in Virginia history. Under Governor Tim Kaine, we were honored, honored as the best state to do business, the best managed state, and he prudently guided us through the Great Recession. And let me say this. Under Governor Bob McDonald, our unemployment is one of the lowest on the East Coast, and we passed the first transportation funding in 27 years with bipartisan support. Now, during the next four years, it will be my obligation and honor to continue that tradition. And to get started, over the next three months, I am going to work hard to reach out to every single Republican in the General Assembly. I want to listen to them, and I want to work with them so we can advance our shared goals. The economic challenges facing Virginia are daunting. 
sequestration for another year, and more federal budget cuts on the horizon. But for those of you who know me well, I believe that a daunting challenge is always a great opportunity. <laughs> Working together, we will protect the jobs that we have, but we will work to diversify our economy. First is workforce training. For me, the best part of this campaign, I was able to visit every single, all 23 community colleges in the Commonwealth of Virginia. You meet people of all ages who are gaining new skills for a new economy and finding opportunity to simplify and do what we need to do to make sure that we have those jobs of the 21st century. They are our true engines of workforce development and we have reduced funding over the last couple of years by 40%. We need to make sure we are investing in our education system. When you take average Virginia pay to average Virginia pay, we went 50th out of 50 states. We need to work together to pay our teachers what they deserve in the Commonwealth of Virginia. When 80% of the brain is developed between birth and three years old, we need to make sure that we're investing in early childhood development. But also, the passage of a funding bill is only the first step in addressing the critical transportation problems that we face in Virginia. Over the next four years, we have to prove to the taxpayers that we can spend their money effectively and efficiently to reduce congestion and create economic activity. And in the coming months, we face a critical moment on the Medicaid expansion. It was perhaps the clearest issue that voters had during this election. But again, this wasn't really a partisan choice. Instead, a bipartisan coalition of Democrats and Republicans, business groups and hospitals have said that we need to accept the Medicaid expansion and bring Virginia's taxpayer money back to Virginia. Throughout this campaign, I've listened to the concerns of Republican friends. That's why I'm committed to finding consensus on how to reform and expand Medicaid. And whether it's education, transportation, or health care, it is absolutely critical that we move forward in a way that is fiscally responsible. Virginia has a national reputation for strong fiscal management, and that's something that I am deeply committed to sustaining. Finally, I wanted to say something specifically to the hundreds of thousands of supporters of Ken Cuccinelli and Mr. Sarvis. And I know to the hundreds of thousands of you that you work so hard. And I know tonight is not easy. I've been involved in a lot of campaigns that didn't succeed, including my own race for governor in 2009. I understand that emotions are raw. I have been there. I get it. So while I promise you tonight that I will be a governor for all Virginians, the real test is my actions when I take office. I expect you to hold me to my pledge to work with both sides. And I hope that once And I hope that once we have started to make bipartisan progress on critical issues like jobs, education, that I can earn your trust. Virginia, thank you for the honor of electing me to serve as the 72nd governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the Commonwealth of Virginia and the United States of America. Thank you.